at this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time we ask you to sit back, relax and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have live launch liftoff. Hello everybody, happy Wednesday and welcome to um, on board uh, Hunky Dory I should say. Um, we have a great show lined up for you today. As you can see we're going to go through the amazing goodie boxes that we have on offer for you this week. Um, my name is Natalie, running the ship today, ship? Oh, I've gone for a different theme again, Emily. <laughs> running the ship today will be Emily, uh, making sure that everything um, runs tip top. And then our in-flight entertainment, um, we've got Sheila. Hello Hi again. Sheila. Hello, hello. This is going to be a fun show, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm just saying, it's going to be super fun because we, d we kind of, we kind of decided ourselves, didn't we, that we don't want to know what's in them. We don't yeah, want to know what's, don't in, really the what's in the boxes. So today's show, we're literally going to run, open these boxes up, have a look what amazing things are inside, and then we're going to pass them over to Sheila, and she's going to um, make some things for you. So you can see, when you get home, if you buy these boxes, what type of stuff you can be making. Um, so it's going to be really, really fun. We've got a few reminders before we get to it, though. Um, your club gift makes are now live on the Hunky Dory Hub. So all those amazing projects you've been making with our club gift, um, if you head over to the Hub, go and have a look if yours has been featured on there. There's Ooh. absolutely loads, um, so it's a good thing to see. And also if you're just a little bit stuck and need some inspiration, yeah. um, head over there because it's, um, it's full of loads of great stuff. Super Savers that we launched on Friday ends on Monday at 8 a.m. There's some incredible things on this Super Savers. Have we got a little run through? Here we go. So you can get a large paper trimmer. That's um, down from £19 to £14.99. We've got a great selection of Moonstone Sentiments dies. They are only £4.99. Then, this is the big one. Mm -hmm. um, we've got our Prism Ink Pad Full Collection and Crafting Handbook. Um, so you're gonna get all 36 six ink pads for 40 just under 40 pounds which is incredible because that should be um a hundred pound in total mm. you've got the premier craft tools punches this one is our fancy edge tag punch and they are eight pound 99. this one's my absolute favorite and <laughs> um, the stamping press and extra magnet bundle you can get this now for 24.99 or and even when you've got your stamping press and you need lots of things to um, ink onto, there's our essential card bundle. You're going to get a hundred sheets in here, um, and that's now only nine pound ninety nine. Some incredible deals on that, that Super Savers. Mm, it blows my mind every time. I know. There's some amazing. great things on there. Okay, so we have our Win It Weekly question. We do this every single week. I don't know what this is yet. So let's see. You are going to win our Everlasting um, Memories multi by die set. And this is actually really pretty. Um, you've got this sort of really nice corner edge, which is perfect for if you make fancy envelopes, having on the front of your card, having as a panel. It's so detailed. Look at all mm. the little cut lines in that. And then you get the little butterfly and that tag as well. Um, it's so beautiful. And then to go alongside that, you have the wonderful panel. This is just amazing, the detail in this. That's really pretty, isn't it? It's so beautiful. You could use that for so many things, couldn't you? Really, so many things. You could make like fancy bunting from this yeah. to kind of make that sort of like lace bunting effect. You could, you could make coasters out coasters, of Coasters, that's what I was thinking. You could do absolutely loads. It's really pretty. But four people are gonna win that this week. Um, the question you need to like, share and comment is, which an actor once came third in their own look-alike competition? Is it A, Elvis Presley, B, Marilyn Monroe, or C, Charlie Chaplin? That's a good question. 
<laughs> it's odd, isn't it? It it's is. Weird. <laughs> it's an odd question. I'm not sure <laughs> because all three of those, I could imagine all three of those actually going in for their own competition. Yes. Like I feel like their personalities. They would yeah. all. That would be something that they would all. They do. would do. And they've all got a very. All three of those people had very distinct Features. looks, didn't yeah. they? So yeah. and and you find that. Um, they're all quite not easy to imitate, but a lot of people imitate them, don't they? We've all there's yes. always been like Elvis, yes. um, like you know, tributes or and tribute Yeah, so I think the same with Marilyn Monroe and Charlie Chaplin. So it could be any. I have no it really idea. Could, couldn't it? Yeah. Um, lots of people have been guessing. Um, lots and lots of people have been putting their guesses in. So it's interesting to see because they are all going for one person. Okay. Um, they're all going for Charlie Chaplin, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, but who knows? Um, but to win those amazing dies, you need to like, share and comment with, with what you think the answer um, to the question is. And we're going to announce the winners on Friday. Okay, so we've got some pretty cool things. If you've never seen goodie boxes before, they're basically an amazing box filled with loads and loads of different things, aren't they? Mm. So in yeah. here, you're going to get £80 worth of Hunky Dory products but we don't know what's in them. They've just been compiled by the warehouse team. Um, we know that the amount is 80 pounds in every single one, we know that for sure. Um, but what is included in there? We don't have a clue, but you can buy um, these. They're 25 pounds each on our website right now. Um, two thirds of the stock that we have of these has already gone. Mm. Um, and we know that that is not gonna last until tomorrow. Maybe, maybe might go today. It might possibly last till Thursday, yeah. but it's not going to last till Friday and we don't have any more stock, so we can't make any more up. So if you want um, one of these goodie boxes, you have to have to get on the website and get yours now. I think there's, is there a number of different boxes you can choose from? No, just one box. There's just one box, you but if buy you buy, four. you can buy up to four boxes and we can guarantee that in each of those four boxes, you will have different things. Um, because we don't want you getting one goodie box and getting the same thing. So we can guarantee that if you buy up to four boxes, um, each four of those boxes will be all different. You can buy more than that if you want to, but you are going to get some double ups. Um, but let's get straight into it because it's super exciting. Um, so I'm going to open this first one because Emily's compiled them very nicely here. Let's see what is in this box now. I wouldn't want to damage this box either because it's absolutely the prettiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they are lovely, it's aren't they? so cool. I'd be keeping this and crafting with it for sure. So let's take um, my tape off and see what we've got in here. Okay, so already I can see toppers. I can see a little book and I can see, oh, this is so good. A Trim Me foiled insert pad. Oh. So in this one, we've got our little book of garden party. Now, if I remember correctly, this one is quite nice. You could do some nice, um, like original decoupaging mm -hmm. on like fabrics or trays with, with that book. Oh, yeah. You've got your, oh, I love this. I'm not joking. I use this at home so much. Yeah. And I always pick like the same couple that I'm actually yes. running out of, yeah. of them because I always pick the, the same ones, I don't alternate them. I think my mum uses these, you know, on a lot of cards, and she it. actually cuts them down and puts them on the front of the card rather than being an insert. She oh, actually, like, like mirrors, yeah, puts it on some mirror That's in the middle such of the a card, idea. keeps it all white, and then just puts like some gems or stars and things so we, on. Our trimmy insert pad in there. This is our birthday selection, um, all gold foiling. I'm pretty sure that if you were going to buy these, that's like nine pound ninety nine, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. We've got some um, blending sponges in here. Oh, I know. Foam pads, foam pad Perfect. strips. Perfect. Then we've got some pig. Oh my gosh! <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, sure, not, I'm sure. not even. I'm not even joking about this. Right. I'm going to get all of these out because. Oh my god. This is insane. If I got this home, I'd be so happy. <laughs> I just have a, had to have a little sneak peek before I showed everyone. Okay, pick and mix toppers. And these are just our topper sheets. So you've got one. You've not just got one in here. You've got one with the horses on. 
Nice. We've got this one here with those cute presents. Oh. We've got one with the lovely birds on. Oh. You've got the beautiful Alice in Wonderland one. So you've got five, Ooh. is that five? One, two, three, four. Four pick and mix toppers. Perfect. This, but it doesn't stop here, Sheila. It does not. Go on, go on, tell us okay. more, tell us more. Oh. A stamp set. Nice. This is incredible. We've got dies in here. Actual oh. full size dies. I think these are $14.99 on their own. Yeah. This is incredible. We've got gemstones. We've got some little lovely Perfect. green number. And then this is the best bit. A full topper collection. An actual oh. full topper collection. You've got cardstock in here. You've got foil cardstock. I'm pretty sure this has got a concept card in it as well. It, yes, I bet it, it, I think it has. And yeah. then finally, to finish it More? off. Oh yeah, there's oh. more. There's more. You've got the full inserts to go with that collection. So you've nice. got a full collection here. Um, that's incredible. You've got four pick and mix toppers, a die set, a stamp set, some gemstones. That I forgot. I forgot what was even in the beginning. I know. You've got the so trimming I. insert pad and the little book. Um, you've got um, blending sponges as well. You've got some uh, foam pads also. I'm just amazed at how much is in here. That's that is I don't incredible. think last time I did this show because I don't remember what was in these. But no. this is pretty awesome for £25. Yeah, it is. It's great. You know, even if you break it down and, um, you know, split it, yeah. I give them as, as presents to people or, you know, new starters or... I mean, the other day I'd said that if I got one, I would keep it and I would try and make things out of it for myself. Oh, that's so, nice. So, you know, because we tend to get kits and we make cards for people and we sell them or we yeah. give them or we just put them away. And I said I would just grab it and make some things that I would like to keep and display in my own craft room. I can't believe the stuff that's in here and the quality as well because it's all fold and die cut. It's not sort of like stuff that is old, you would say. No, no. this launched last year. This is like... I know. Quite recent yeah, products. It it's it's incredible. And dyes as well. Dyes are so expensive and you yeah. can get the them in this goodie box. I think it's great. Should I should I just pass this box to you? I don't mind. You can either Or do you wanna do you, you know? can no, I have no idea. We can do let's, this. All right, let's we do can this do then. this completely. Um you I'll, can choose I'll if you're you the box. Or you can time. choose. I can choose. If you want, if you you can choose what I Isn't use. That's scary. Okay, okay. we've we made a, a little round Let's up there. Let's do. I think actually, this die will work really nicely with this little book. I was thinking like that the little book would be good. Yeah. And then we'll give you the gems. Gems, green gems. That would gems. work. And then I'll pass the trim me insert pad, but I'm not going to say you have to use that. All right. And then. Okay, that's good. We'll give you Slide this. it along the counter there. Perfect. Thank you. And then we'll see what magic things you can make up with it. I Ooh. genuinely, I'm so in shock at how good these are. This is exciting, how amazing actually. Kathy Burgess on YouTube said it was the best thing Christmas Day when she opened it. Honestly, it's the best thing ever. I think I'm going to have to get my mum one because my mum would absolutely. It, love isn't it, it a nice treat? You know, um, how about when well, as well? We've got Mother's Day coming up. Yes. Wouldn't this be a the fabulous gift? The best Mother's gift. Day gift for anyone who is into crafting. Birthday gift. Um, maybe you've got crafters in the family or you've got crafting friends and you, you don't have to open them either you can keep them you can keep them all boxed up ready to go you can. i think 25 pounds is it's not too expensive it's you could spend 25 pounds on some flowers from i don't know a supermarket and oh my let's, goodness yeah. let's know let, like we, we all know supermarket flowers aren't the best flowers no so they won't last but this this is going to last and it's going to bring people so much joy. Oh, um, definitely. It's definitely something that you need to Definitely. Get. Are you having a look, Shields? I'm I having a look. Oh, look. I don't think I've actually seen this one. This is very nice. It's yeah, so cute. It? This is very different, isn't it? It's. I want to say it's like Victorian artwork. It's very nice. It's very like vintage. Look at that. And stylized at the same time. It's Ooh, very cool. Oh, it is. And, and it's almost like, like smudgy watercolouring you know um when you did the little feature recently in the new magazine yeah where you did the no line coloring yeah it's a bit like that where you're actually blending out the the outline but yeah. this is lovely okay so cool. let's i'm not going to go with butterflies just because 
um, we've had butterflies this week on the TV. So let's have a look what we've got with the dies here that we can use. And we can maybe, if we take the frame. Oh, I have here. to mention this because quite a few people are um, commenting about this. Um, the goodie boxes being at £25, if you order one of the goodie boxes, you aren't going to receive your discount on top of that. Just because they're at such an incredible price, yeah. Um, anyway, you do you won't get that extra ten percent um, from being a member, but you can still use that um, on all your other things like your super saver deals, things like that. Um, but just not on the goodie boxes. So just so you know. Um, but so many people are commenting. Jacqueline says her daughter got her two boxes for Mother's Day. Yeah. Well, it's such a great gift. It's very, such very a great gift. Exciting. So many people are so excited to see what comes and what they get in theirs. That's nice. Okay, let's chop then. And I've just realised this um, is actually on, um, let me get my tie so we know what we're doing. This is on Mattastic. So this is, um, the little book is, is printed onto Mattastic. So that's really nice. And I just reached down and picked up a piece of Mattastic cardstock, which is in the perfect it colour. Is perfect shade that. Um, I think as well, that's the so rosewood colour, isn't it? I pink? think it is. Yeah. Let me grab some um, tape that I can. Ah, oh, there we go. The thinner tape will do. It's just easy for me to uh, unroll that. So we'll um, put this through the machine. Do a little bit of tape on here, and. Oh, I just love in these uh, this artwork on this garden part. It's, it's really totally lovely. different, isn't it? Right, let's get this die through the machine then and see what we can make. Um, so let's roll that through there, and that will cut. I'm going to just bring it a bit nearer to me. That's these. I'll tell you, if you buy this machine, the suction plates are it's really crazy, good on this, it? aren't they? Yeah, we need some new plates though. The we do, uh, we do. I've seen that you can buy them, so I'm not sure if we stock them, but I'm going to speak to lovely Joanne later because I yeah, know so that get us I have a feeling this might just shoot out the, the end here because it's oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. I'm hoping that's but it's cool. incredible, like there we go. how well it cuts through your dyes. Do you it know what? Really, really incredible. You're absolutely right, Natalie. I was just thinking then. You might need to put it through again. Um, yeah, and I was thinking I can't turn it because of the no. size of the machine. But I think that's done a pretty good cut, actually. I think it has. So let's just pop that there for now. Just shimmy that back up there because it's stuck on the... The uh, force that you've got with it, with it even, even though it's like um, a cranking machine. Oh, so much pressure in it. Yeah, it's really good. It's proper like snug. You can feel it when you mm. um, when you're putting it through there. It's quite a satisfactory feeling, that isn't it? It is definitely. Okay. It's a weird satisfactory feeling for all the crafters out there. Definitely. When you, when you know that your your die cut's going to come out. Perfectly. Yeah, because very often you have to um, like turn it round and or put it on an angle depending on the size of your machine. But that seems to have done lovely. Another little tip here. What I normally do when I'm brushing out um, an intricate die like this, I usually put it when I'm sat at my desk or if I'm at home cutting, I put the this on my thigh normally and just rub the brush. And because, I mean, you can do it on a foam mat if you've got a foam mat. If you've not got a foam mat, put it on your thigh. You'll be surprised how um, easily all the little bits come out. Um, I mean, I could do it now, but you're not going to see. I mean, see, immediately that's, you know, if you've got pressure, a good thigh, yeah, um, yeah, definitely. That's popping all those bits out now. It's quite good for your arm as well. Bit of, get your muscles going a bit. Okay, we're all cut out there. Everything's out there. A couple of little you ones. Said crafting wasn't Just exercise. A, I know. Well, it is. If you're not guillotining or you're not punching, you you're poking, aren't you? Or you you are. You're brushing. <laughs> Who says we need to go jogging? We don't need to go jogging. Just get your tools out, your, your Premier Craft tools, and start using those. You'd be surprised where your muscles appear. There we go. I think we are all out there. There's just one little one there I need to just grab. There we go. Got it. They're all out now. So we've got now that beautiful um, frame. So pretty. Look at that. That's really, really nice. Now what you can do here, we can put 
um, this on top or you could use one of your other dies um, like a like say for instance um, let me grab um, one of our oh one of our nesting dies maybe let's look at the shape maybe one of these we could put one of these in the middle so that then you could put your um, image or your topper or your little boot page behind it Let's have a little look and see what we can cut out here so that we can put our cage behind because it seems a bit of a, a sin to cover oh, all yeah. that lovely detail up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if that would, I think that might be a little bit big. I mean, an oval would have probably been better. Let's just have a look what else we've got while I'm, oh, we've got, all, uh, we've got circles, we have got ovals that would be perfect let's grab our ovals then because now i can show you if we just uh, pop on the oval dies in the middle that will i think that will nicely um show our picture as well our lovely image so and this is quite ovalish for want of a better word so that mm, fraction too big that one let's go with this one and we'll put that one through and then that'll give us a nice little area where we can put our image behind. Um, so let's just, another little tip here as well, if you're using fantastic cardstock, um, but it's this bit that you're wanting to keep and use, if you're using a nesting die, try and put your um, tape on the inside because if it does, um, sometimes as it, does occasionally with your papers and things sometimes tape if it's very strong can take off the a bit of the coating if it's a matte coat so if you just put that on this side here if it does take the coating off, it doesn't matter because we're not using that bit as such um i found that over the years um when you're using different papers and different um weights of cardstock and things so I think this will be better now. We've got a nice little aperture in it. That's the good thing about this die as well, because oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so That's lovely really now, pretty. isn't it? That works really nicely. Now then, if we pop this on top now, we can see, we can position this and we can trim the page down. Now what we can do as well, let's see if this will work, because if I cut yeah. around there now, if I can kind of get that roughly, in the same place let's do this so that we can just cut that cut out, small image out like that put a bit of tape on here and that will just sit nicely behind that frame so let's just run that through and then oh Lisa has a question she says has have the prism inks come in yet so this is um, important information for anyone who ordered the prism inks in our um, super savers thank you Emily um, <laughs> they were actually delayed um, so they were due in today which is the third and that is what um, we said to you but due to some problems at um, the borders as I'm sure a lot of people are aware while you're buying things at the moment mm. um, we do have this small issue that is causing quite a bit of um, delays um, so they should be they will arrive sorry not they should they are at the border um and they are currently on transit to us but they will arrive on friday morning so as soon Perfect. as they are in on friday morning all of those orders that have prism inks in them are all on a shelf they're all together we're going to get your inks in there for you and we're going to send them out so they will be with you as soon as possible so that's a little update on um on those ink pads just just got a little bit stuck at customs but they are going to be with you yeah i think it's a mixture isn't it at the moment of like covid and brexit and you know but they will be uh i know who, who decided to put all these things together in, I know, in <laughs> one year <laughs> i'll tell you what let's do that let's let's save it all up for the same year why not? thanks <laughs> thanks oh my goodness we were just uh talking this morning in the in the kitchen a couple of us um asking one of the uh, i was asking one of the ladies who works in the assembly and the assembly line putting the kits together and i said how's your um how's your little baby doing and she said oh he's, he's fine he's doing really well and um 
I said, oh, how old is he now? Expecting her to say six months. And she said, oh, he's two in a couple of months. And I was like, what? She said, yeah. I said, he can't be. She said, yeah, he is. He's, um, you know, he's older old child is. is. <laughs> but it's quite, yeah, it's quite um, scary. How, where, when did all that happen? Where has all that time gone? You know, and when did it, when did it all disappear like that? It's crazy. And so much has happened, but we don't seem to have had any part in it because we've all been, you know, just, just stuck at home or, um, so yeah, it's amazing. So our, but all that comes from our ink pad, of course, our ink pad uh, conversation there. So we're just going to cut out the little butterfly now and I'm leaving a little bit of an edge on that just cause it's got that smudgy watercolor effect. Okay. And we'll pop that on with a pad as well. I'm going to cut that pad in half like that and we'll pop that on there like that I will put it mm, I might cover that one up actually I might cover the big butterfly up it's quite nice all the sort of like the bits in between and then the bits that you put in over the the die it looks quite nice yeah definitely um let's do okay I think what we might do as well then we will should we put it on a bit of mirror? Should we just leave it on, on white? So let's have a look at what we've got down here because we've got so much stuff down here. Actually, I'm not sure if a bit of craft would work. Craft would look really nice. Or, or actually, so I'll drop the craft on the floor. Let's do a little bit of cream. Cream will be better, I think. That's going to fit perfectly. Like that. And we'll, we can have a, we'll grab a bit of ribbon. We will also use the die from here that's got sentiment on we'll get some gems on there as well uh, my gems are under here i can stay at the table i'm just opening everything all at once that's what we're going to do we're going to match up some of these gems and we're just going to do a little i think we'll do a little like frame around the around the arch here so we'll do um what we're going to do is do one two three small ones there like that with the bigger one in between so we go with the middle sized one like that and then we will do the same on the other side just around here just so it lifts brings that green into it and we'll do one there and one there and we'll pop some small ones in between we can just about get those in there like that so we've got a nice frame and then we'll do one two and we'll do three and four here and then where what we what size car blank have you used Sheila because someone's asked is it a five by seven I think this yeah I'm going to check I think it's a five by seven this one yeah I'm absolutely convinced it's a five by seven I'm going to just leave that little gap there because I want to put the sentiment on and we'll put the sentiment in that gap I'm going to cut that out in a second I wanted to just make sure I've got my because we're going to use that lovely die that says for you and we can sit this at the bottom here okay so let's cover the card in the cream and then we can trim this down I might decoupage that rose a bit more as well but I can do that after just to give you the um the idea of how to do it so let's pop cream on there like that just glue that with construction glue and then I will just trim around that with my scissors I was going to put the bigger bird on there but I think because of the 7x5 card I think it's uh, better not to put that on I think it will look totally out of Ooh. place is this our just, when you turn that then it was double sided wasn't it is that the ivory stamping card oh it might be actually yes it, it is looks good then yes looks it is good. I never felt that I was thinking it felt like it was matte tastic because obviously it has got that matte that matte finish okay so let's do what I'm going to do is just rub a little piece of that paper there and I'm just going to put my my glue on a bit of glue on here so that I can just dip the ends of the um these corners in here like this where it's quite detailed that will just pick up some of the construction glue like that 
And I'm still not over the amount of amazing stuff that was in that box. I know, it's crazy. And we've Actual only used two or three shock. things out of it. It was amazing. There we go. Let's put that onto here. And then, so we've got that nice lacy border on there like that. And then we will cut. Right, so what I want to do now is just cut that little, um, where have I put it now? Oh, your sentiment? Yeah, it's on here somewhere, isn't it? I've just had it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, I apologise. This is the thing when you're not prepped, isn't it? You just start Stuff everywhere. going crazy. Right, so we need um, a bit more um, pink, I think, and we'll have cream as well. So if I cut this from pink, let me just do this quickly, and then we can... I'm excited to see what's in the next box. Oh my gosh, me too. It's very exciting. I'm surprised you've not already got your knife well, on I there. Was, I was like, <laughs> I am eagerly looking at it like, ooh, it's calling me. It is, isn't it? The knife's just sat there. It's like I, when you buy chocolate and then you put it on the shelf and yeah, then you yeah. go to look for a healthy snack <laughs> and chocolate bars it there. It is, yeah. You just have to eat the chocolate. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, let's just get that letter poked out of there. There we go. That's really nice. And then what we'll do is we'll pop that onto a little piece. We might be able to get away with that. No, it's not big enough. A piece of cream. So let's get a little bit of glue on here like this. And we can then put this on cream. We're just going to chop around this so we've got that cream showing through underneath. Like that, let's just cut around there. Such a beautiful dye. And this dye as well, if you're lucky to get, I'm not sure whether these, whether you're gonna get all these dyes in one box, you probably won't, you'll probably get a mixture of different dyes, but if you to get this dye, and then you win the winning weekly competition, how well are they gonna to work together? <gasps> yeah. Think about that, the pattern that's on them. Definitely. is beautiful. That's really nice. Uh, idea actually yeah they they are lovely those i did i was thinking about the um the one that we said about using as a coaster i mean you could use it as doilies couldn't you you yeah. said using it as bunting natalie i did i did think about something else and i can't remember what it was it was something came to mind straight away and then i forgot about it i did think about using it maybe as like snowflakes as well oh my gosh that would be cute you know doing it cutting it maybe in yeah, some kind could, of glitter you could cut it like um you could chop off some bits of the panel as well so it's totally different definitely definitely okay so we've got three pads on here this should just slot into there now like that that just says for you and you can just let it overhang a little bit and then we're just going to pop a couple more of our little gems i'm going to go with the quite bright green on this just to go in the center of that flower at the top and that flower at the bottom just to bring the green in like that oh my gosh it's so cute and then there we go we can we can just um you probably can't see it after all the so mess lovely. on the table, but it's quite vintagey. Um, but again, cute. you can obviously we were in a rush there, but you can take your time and do something um, similar with your little boots and let the things overhang the frame. That little book is just amazing, though, isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. So pretty. It's really lovely. Yes. Okay, let's have a look. What is inside this second one? Because um, it's definitely going to be filled with some. Oh my. This is so exciting. Okay, so we've got a glitter roll in gold. Love this stuff. Great for die cutting out of. Um, a topper deck. We've got a little topper deck. We've got the Flourishing Florals Little Book. Ooh. This one's really cute. Got lots of different floral elements in there. We've got two rolls of tape. Oh, is it and the thin tape as well? The super thin <gasps> one. I love that one. It's We've perfect. got one. Oh my! These puppets up. These. Oh, this is just the best thing ever. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> this is a good one, people. Okay. We've got puppet toppers in uh, piggy mix toppers. Sorry. So you've got that beautiful owl. This one is 
probably one of my favourites, the little fairy tale <gasps> castle yes. with the prince and princess. Oh, they I are love beautiful. That. Sheila, I might have to get you to make something with that because I just love it. Okay. Um, you've got, oh, but no, this one's oh, so Oh, that's cute. nice too. Is that, which a one is that? A big thank you from our special moments. That's you also you. get cardstock included in this one, so two sheets of cardstock and a topper. Um, another special moments with the beautiful cat on there, the good luck cat, um, <laughs> with all the clovers and bits and pieces. It's just too much stuff in here. A stamp set. We've got the Ooh. beautiful walking boots. I had my walking boots on last night. As oh, soon as yeah, I got home, got changed, went for a little walk. Nice. Oh, this is what I got so excited about. Are you ready? Oh, I don't think you're going to believe this, Sheila. A cutting mat. What? A cutting mat. A cutting I, uh, there are little mini cutting mat which fits perfectly inside your mini scoreboard. <gasps> a cutting mat. This That's is a madness, good people. Prize. The, oh. And you've not finished. Oh, no, I thought I, that was the last thing. No, 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 no. We've got forever in our hearts. Nice. Um, this topper also includes foiled and die, uh, foiled and plain cardstock. We've got our forever florals combo hydrangea which has <gasps> the stamp and dye That's included in it gorgeous, this is one. madness and then to finish it off we've got our everlasting memories full topper collection and inserts oh that box That's... i think that was my favorite so far that is just <laughs> it is nice, wow that one. okay I'm, I already know what I'm going to give you for this, Sheila. Okay, right, so let's send tiny it over. <laughs> I, can you actually believe? I'm not sure if anyone else can believe this. How the cutting mat is in there. A cutting mat. I know. This is incredible. This is it's crazy. Right. It's great if you're getting any tools in there, isn't it? Whether it's I know. Um, whether it's dies or stamps or mats, something that you can use again and again and again. Oh. It's, um, that's really exciting. The stamps in there, the dies in there. It's all amazing. You've got so much product. Little books, topper decks. Okay, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to be quite nice this time because um, I'm, I'm going to give you a topper set with cardstock on. Okay, cool. But I'm also going to give you the glitter gem, the oh, glitter nice. roll because I think it works quite nicely. Uh, definitely. I think it works definitely. quite nicely. Okay. Thank you very there much. There you go. That's nice. I'm, I'm just, I am, this is amazing. This I is I think I might good. have to buy two of these. One for me and one for my mum. Yeah, I, I was thinking we should buy one for each other. We should buy one, yeah, maybe we should. We'll buy three and then we'll swap them. We'll swap them, yeah. Let's buy one for all the team. It's crazy. <laughs> I like the fact, though, that if you buy two or three or four, you get different ones. Cheryl got a cutting mat in her box. How excited were you she when got you got it that? got already. Yeah, I know some people have got theirs already. It's crazy. Well, we only launched it on Monday. It's I only know. Wednesday morning. I oh, know. my goodness. Oh, we're getting a bit high in our voices here, aren't we? <laughs> okay, this I'm, is oh, nice. Honestly, I'm not even. I'm so excited about this, and I'm not even getting these. I <laughs> know we're not getting these, are we? These are just. Um, and I wouldn't want amazing. to either because I know that there's not that many of these left, and uh, I don't want yeah. people missing out. I know. Otherwise, I would. I know. I, would I might get one. I might get one. Just yeah, one it, it it would be. It's yeah, I think it would be nice for a for a present. Um, you know, coming up for Mother's Day or, um, you know, even an Easter present or, you know, you could actually, I wonder if you could get it delivered to them. Um, do you know what would be a good idea? I just thought, do you know, like all the little bits, or you could do the big bits actually, um, making from like balloons. Yeah. Paper mache balloons into Easter eggs. <gasps> Put all the little elements in Easter eggs and do your own crafting Easter egg hunt. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> honestly. She's, she's that's a bit crazy. Such a good isn't idea. She today? I, I, this, <laughs> this is the best day ever. <laughs> best day oh, ever. Oh dear me. You're a strange little one, aren't you? <laughs> I'm so excited about all of these deals. Honestly, they're they're incredible. Okay, let's see what we can do here okay. then, because we've got our beautiful um, cardstock. This is a lovely, lovely topper sheet. Look at this. It's got um, just a note to say, thank you. May this always remind you just how wonderful you are. Thank you. Hello. Thinking of you. Sent with love and best wishes. So Natalie has given us some card here, which is uh, with the toppers, obviously. You get a printed sheet and a foiled sheet as well. So I am just looking at this now. I think I'm going to grab the scoreboard. 
and I think I'm going to use this as the um, macabre base. I love the toppers that you get as well. I think they're I like um, like a big postage stamp. Yeah, and that's why I love them. And I thought, do you know what? This would be the be the best card to send to someone right now with like a big postage yes, stamp on. Definitely. And just to say, we're thinking of you. We can't be together. But what I thought was, isn't that nice? to go on the back of a card. It's really it's, nice. It's really it makes nice. it just super you know, more jazzy, doesn't it? Definitely, definitely. Makes it look a bit more expensive. Yes, it absolutely does. So what we're gonna do, I think, we're going to take the trimmer. We've got our beautiful um, glitter roll here. And this is lovely. Um, I think, is, is there a meter on here, Natalie? Can you remember? Um, let I me have a look. way more than that, you I've know. I've thrown the packaging in the bin. I'll have it's a look right. in It's got one round here I can check. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think. Okay. Somewhere. If not, I will, um, I'll check on the packaging once we've just cut a strip off it. So what I want to do is cut a strip off here like this. Oh, and it feels so, so lovely. Okay. Oh, it really, really does. Centimeters. So it's, it's 28 centimetres yeah. by 98 centimetres, so it's just almost under a metre. Meter. Yeah, almost a metre. My favourite thing is the grid that you get on the back. Though. I know, the grid is great because, you know, we used to get this kind of paper and if I had this paper when I was at school How and cool I could have covered be? my school boots with this, Honestly, I would have been the best kid in the class, wouldn't I, would, I just? I used to look, I, I think maybe mum used to take me to like WH before Wool Woolworths. And I used to try and get the fanciest wrapping paper to do my books in. And then I'd make mum put wrapping paper on and then put that shiny plastic thing over the top. Yeah. Because you had to have the coolest book. Oh, you all. absolutely did, yeah. Um, but Definitely. this would be amazing to cover your books in right now. Definitely. So we've got a strip down there. What I wanted to, to make it look like it's ribbon. And I want to put my um, little... That's a cute idea. Sentiment on there at the bottom. So I'm going to do hello just there like that. So let's stick that on with one of my um, strips here. So we'll put hello at the bottom there like that. And we'll just put it slightly that way so that we can still see our lovely flowers. Because then what we can do is put a couple of little gems at this side here so it still gives it that kind of correct feel and then what we're going to do let's take right these this is a good thing that you might not know with our toppers if you've not had on these um, top sheets before what you get is you get your beautiful topper and then you usually get a, an outer frame and then an even bigger frame so you can usually split it into um, three pieces and this is where it's quite nice because you can you can put that on like an I eight by this. eight card I love um, it. You know, you can, I mean, you could even put it on there if you want it overhanging, but I'm not going to do it that big. Um, but then you can also, as well, you can mess around with them. You can do them like this. You can cross them over. You can put backings behind. Um, so what I want to do is I want to keep this one because I think this one will work quite nicely and then we'll still get that little bit showing. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to put this onto my cardstock here now because this, this is clever can be worked anywhere you can do it like that at the bottom at the top you can do it in the corner i'm going to put that in the corner like that so i'm going to glue that on and then cut around it and then we can pop that on the card and we can um then put the topper on as well so we're not going to put the topper back in but we will put the topper kind of just sitting over the top of it. I was going to say then, oh my goodness, I've got a piece of thread here and I haven't. It's a bit of a uh, little like, no, it's the, you know, like the little, oh, they're not the called stamen. The, you know, the bits that kind of yeah. climb up the, I can't think what they're called. Um, what's a word for them? Tendrils. Tendrils. She's too Sorry, clever. I didn't mean to shout it that way. <laughs> this is why she's here. She's That's right, tendrils. She knows all the big words. Yeah, she does. That's such a funny word. Yeah. Who invented that? Isn't it? Who Isn't invents it just? words? I was don't know. this the other day. I don't know. My mad can't sleep moments. Like, who who invents these words? I don't know. Yeah, words are... Hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because you use a word and you use it over and over again. And then all of a sudden, one day, that, that word just either looks wrong or sounds wrong. And you're like, is that really a word? How, what? What? Yeah, mm. it's bonkers, isn't it? 
or is it is it the word or is it the actual is it something that's going on in your brain that then yeah you know is it your brain is it your brain okay so we're going to put that on an angle there like that we're just going to tilt it a little bit because i still want us to be able to see this and i want us to be able to see as well i don't Ooh. normally do this out of the frame but i really like i want to keep this at the bottom here kind of make it look like it's actually falling out of the frame so we're going to glue this one on flat and then we're going to put our little um topper on there as well so we can put it quite a way over there like that i mean that, that would be nice for instance, you could actually you could actually do that if you get this kit. Oh, that's cute. Um, that is quite nice as well now, isn't it? Oh, but I've already put, taken the pads off. Mike, I'll tell you what. Let's let's do the original plan. Let's do this so we can just kind of sit that over there. I do like this though. Like it's like it's coming out of the frame, and then let's see what else we've got on our sheet. So, so we've got on here note to say thank you. I'm just putting hello here as well because I think that's quite nice and cheery. And then I do like this though. I do like this little one. So what I think we might do. Where's my other little strip of gold that I cut before? I think we might bring this one across here. So it kind of lets us join up that little area there. We'll trim that right across here. Like that. Because we need some gems on here as well, which we're going to get. And then we're going to put, what I want to do as well, I'm going to take that big thank you and I'm going to sit that one over the little thank you here. Because that then will, will stick out a bit more. So let's grab that. I can hear Natalie is got the knife out already and he's no. knifing that box open ready she cannot contain herself I this morning she just can't wait honestly she just, just can't wait just sneaking let's put that there and then we're going to put our little um top of there i'm going to grab a few silver gold gems not silver we're going to have some gold let's grab our usual gold ones here we're going to do a big one first of all here Let's grab the big one and stuck to my finger. Let's pop that one there, like that. Let's pop a middle-sized one next to that one. And then a little one. That is gold, yes it is. I can't tell in the light. That one is, oh, it's a jiggly one, this one. It wants to get away, like that. And then we're gonna pop this one flat here. And we'll do that with some glue, I think. I was going to try and be clever with that gold, um, with the gold roll, but I wanted to make like a, so cool. a little bow, but I don't think I can, because if I take... Yeah, you'd have to be careful with where you do the do backing. You know what? Yeah, you? if I take the... Um, let, me let me just try it, just for my own uh, sense of... You'd have to, be, you have to maybe use your craft knife just to... Cut possibly the backing off a bit. The only other thing I've thought, if I take off the backing, would this work? If I take off the backing, oh, you're gonna double side and double do it double sided, and then and then just loop it. Let's try that because then it'll it'll just stick to itself. Oh, this could be tricky. You could. What you could three do hands. is half and half it, and then you've got a sticky bit in the middle that you can oh, put the edges to. Yeah, I could. Oh my goodness, I've got totally trapped in my own <laughs> ribbon. <laughs> right, let's get it on the mat and people can just hopefully see what we're doing. Now this takes a little bit of patience, but we can we trim it anyway. It's sticking, my fingers are stuck in the middle. My nails are stuck on it as well. But we might be able to get around it. Let's see. Let's see if we can make. Of course you can. If oh. anyone can do it, you can do it, Sheila. A little bow. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'll do my best. But what we can do is we do a little bow like this. Okay. And then if we get another piece, which I'll cut <gasps> with my scissors and maybe stick that round it, it might work. It might not. It might. I might make a pig's ear of it, as they say. Um, I might be able to get that off with my fingers. My fingernails. Probably thinking, what on earth? 
Okay, we're nearly there. We've nearly got that corner. Obviously, the bigger piece you cut, the easier it is to get the backing off. Because I am making this quite, quite fiddly now. Um, but let's see if we now can put that around there. I think I'm going to have to scrunch it a little bit like that to get it in. You were probably right, Natalie, about keeping a bit in the middle, um, like sticky, uh, with the sticky exposed in the middle. But you know what? We might be able to do it. Let's, I think you can do it. Let's give it a try. It's fiddly. I will say it's fiddly, but I think you might be able to do it like um, this. Rachel has asked, what card is what card size is your card, Sheila? It's A5? It is indeed. And she's made it from her plain cards, or was it? The uh, it's no, the foiled, foiled one. Cards one. So yes. Just, just scoring it in the middle um, and... It is foiled. Making it an A5. Oh, it didn't quite turn out as planned. The, the middle section needs to be a little bit tighter, people. So... Um, if you are going to make something like this and you get the ribbon roll in your box, it is it is quite, you know, you can manipulate it, but it's not it's not turned out as I expected. That I should have gone tighter with the um, with the bow and the with the strip around the middle. But again, if you were hot gluing it, you might be able to hot glue it in place. Let's stick it on anyway, um, and hopefully the construction glue will hold that just there. We might it be able to so jiggle good. around with it after. It looks really good. But but do try it. Um, you probably get a better one than, than I've done there. Um, but again, another you quick... You could, if you have them at home, just thinking about it, if you have the bow, the bow dies? Do we do bow dies? We do on some of our die sets, yes. Yeah, we've got little bows, haven't you? You could... I mean, you could even... Do, I bet you could even, if you were careful, do it on your bow maker, you know. Yeah. Because it's quite... It's quite thin. It's not card. It's paper, and it's quite. Um, You've got a little strong. room to move it about as well. Yeah, it's quite, yeah, it's definitely. Strong, but it's also quite flexible. So yeah, try it. I mean, do it. Um, it might be easier to actually do do a strip that way and double side it on itself like that. So you take the strip off and fold it that way and then you've got a double-sided oh, strip rather bit. than having to wrestle with it like I just did and get it stuck all over your fingers and stuff. But try it. It's really nice and it's encapsulated so it does not come off on your hands at all. It's it's really lovely to, to play with. If you're die-cutting it though, we do recommend you can die-cut it um, exactly as it is, but because it's quite smooth and quite yeah. soft, we've always suggested that you maybe put it on a piece of um, cardstock or even a piece of ink me and then yeah. die-cut through yeah. it. So you still got that glitter effect, but it, it doesn't kind of, you know, tear. It can um, because it can it's soft and stretchy. Yeah, you don't want it to stretch. So no, no, so that. do try that. Just, just stick it on some ink me. Yeah, okay. definitely. Final box of the <gasps> oh. so excited. Right. Have you already had a peek or not? I had a tiny peek, <laughs> but unlike the other boxes that had all the little stuff on top, this has actually got the biggest stuff on top, so I can't really see oh, what's in it. Oh, okay. But we'll have a look. So, oh, more foam pads, nice. square foam pads, a glue stick, oh, I love this one, um, our delightful doilies stamp set, Oh, love that one, we've got a ruler, Oh, our metal edged ruler, then I've got, oh, I've got an Eastern Wishes topper set nice. with cards stuck in, oh, I found it. This is so good. <laughs> I've got a combo die set. Perfect. I absolutely love those die sets. I've got some more toppers with cardstock, which is super exciting. Um, so I've got this one here. It has this beautiful celebrate on. It's got really nice holographic foil That's in nice, it here as well. It? Oh, I've got a bow maker. A what? Bow maker? Oh my goodness. Sheila, this is it. this is the best thing ever. I've got our Bon Voyage Special Moments collection. Also oh. comes with cardstock. That's nice. I've got a concept. This is this one's probably this one. I don't even know which one's the best one, but this <laughs> one's great. Concept card collection, which makes these beautiful boxes oh. that you can see here from our Violet Delights. We've got a pick a mix topper. Mm -hmm. Are you joking me? This cannot be real. <laughs> this is like brand new. A duo <gasps> turns paper oh, pad. Oh my goodness! And the, is that a mistake? No, I don't think so. Look at the the, the colour. That is crazy. It's, that not, it's the best yellow. Colour. Yellow and brown. It's amazing. Oh, 
Then, actually, it works perfectly with this because the full kit that you get inside this box is our Woodland Wildlife Collection. So you're going to get a full topper set and inserts to go with that. That's a good box. Oh my isn't gosh, it? that's so I mean, good. they're all great, but they're all and so varied. I'm not <laughs> sure which one's my favourite. I'm really not sure. This one's quite cool though. Right. Do you know what, Shields? Because it's the last one. You're gonna I'm make gonna the let cheese, you pick. Aren't you? I'm Darn gonna it. let you pick. And I know it's gonna be hard because there's some good stuff in here. Right, let me get it back in and then we'll ship it across. Ship it across. <laughs> we need a little pulley, don't we, today? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, slide it down. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Let's have a look. Oh my word. This is going to be tricky. I know it is going to be hard. There's so oh, many good, this is going to be so tricky. Much good stuff. I combo dice it. Like what? I know, and it's a nice one too, isn't it? It's crazy. Oh my goodness! Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. I think crazy. We definitely have to use the duotone paper pad. I'm it's shop beautiful. Here. And let's use with that. What about? I th I think that's quite nice. The Bon Voyage topper set, and maybe maybe we'll add something else to that in a sec. Let's let's see how we get on with this. Um, okay, because. I love the colours in here. Um, it's really, really um, nice. If you've not seen these, we only How launched these. Are these. Are these? This is why I'm like shocked. This? Like this is well, crazy. Well, we better we'll and check it. Brand but new products in here. Brand new. These are like, you know, I would loved our colour families, and then this came out, and this was on Matastic. Look at this beauty. It's dark brown on that side. It's rare you get dark brown card or dark brown. Um, it's yellow on the other. I love the yellow. It's this like is my favourite yellow. Oh my goodness! Honestly, and look bright, at it. Brightens any day. Cheers you up straight away. Oh yellow. My goodness. It's like it's like ice cream. It's like milkshake. It's like chocolate. It's like chocolate buttons. It's like caramel. Oh. Um, yeah. And then it's like dark chocolate and Ferrero Rocher and all those lovely. Oh, look at it. And it's it just delightful, isn't it? Smells, it smells divine. So smells good. I divine. can smell it from here. Yeah, it smells lovely. This is a good right, this is a good thing to do. Okay. So a couple of people have commented which one out of the three we've shown you today is your favourite box. So Jackie says the first one. Moira also the first one was her favourite. Um let's Ooh, see. Let's Viv see. says the third one's her favourite. So does Judith. Um I think mine's still the second, you know. I Do think you the think so? One was still my favourite, um, but the first Let's one did have a good dye in it. But then the they've all got amazing products, and the second one had a cutting mat in. I mean, come on, amazing, come on. amazing. But comment, comment with what box was your favourite out of the three we've shown you today? Amazing! It's all uh, lovely. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So Donna has commented and said, those colours remind me of my brownie uniform many <gasps> years ago. Oh yes, of course, of my, course. My grandma still has that brownie uniform. Does she? Yeah. <gasps> she still, she has to Yeah, she's got it stored in the, um, in the <laughs> attic. I remember oh, my it's terrible. Brown culottes and a bright, does it brown culottes? Yeah, brown Yeah, it might have been actually, yeah. Paper. Yeah, it might have been. Cap. Let me have a look. You know, you know what I was going to do? I was going to do, I don't think we've got an 8x8 card in, in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this uh, down. Okay, so I'm going to chop it to, let me get my extending section out here. We can still do here. an 8x8. We can just put it on at the end. We could do, yeah. We could do. What I thought was... Um, let's let's do this. So let's oh, I need to cut this to eight by eight as well. So I'm just going to chop. I'm going to chop that end because there's a lot of love for box one, also box three and box two. <laughs> Lots of people fabulous like them all. Fabulous. Okay, so what I thought we could do is um, because this one is kind of like bon voyage um, and. We've got lots of suitcases, and I'm sure that as soon as COVID is over, people are going to start 
going on holiday, they're going to be, you know, excited, wanting to go for a break, a well-earned break, a well-deserved break. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop some of these into here, like pages. Okay, so we've got, we're going the dark brown and then the deep yellow, and we're going through with different shades. This is cute. Okay, so we can do some like, let's grab that one, because that's slightly lighter than that one there and um, we'll grab another one and we'll grab that one so what we're going to do is we're going to pop this underneath like that and then we're going to do another dark one I think let's turn it that way I think I agree with a lot of people um, especially Denise and Andrew have said um, they like them all it's too hard to choose it is so you're going to say all three I agree to be fair there's they, they're just, they're all the same, but all different. And there's so much good stuff in them. Definitely. I think it's, um, I think it's quite exciting. Normally, if we were putting one together so ourselves, as, as demonstrators or as crafters, we would probably go, oh, I'd like a die in there, or I'd like a stamp set in there, or I'd like this in there. And it ends up being too um, kind of fixed if you like so i think it's nice that Such a good mix. somebody's put these together i'm guessing it's probably dan and the team who've gone through um the kits and seen you know gone through everything in the building and gone okay let's put they have to have a die in they have to have a stamp in they need some toppers in um and so it's kind of um it's like what's the word when you get not, not a surprise but when you actually get um it, it is a bit like a pick and mix in a way. It really is. But a surprise pick and mix. Um, it's just really exciting. Okay, so what we're doing here, we're making, basically we're making like a little journal um, front here. So if you went on holiday, you know, the kids could take this, they could put pictures in. Yes. That's such a cute idea. Um, you know, they could take it on holiday, they could go, come on, let's, as soon as we get Especially, on the plane, let's write some things in it, you know. Especially, you know, if you have, if you take a Polaroid on holiday, because they're yes. like the instant photos, so you can stick them in, maybe yeah. do like, um, get the kids to write a story about what they did with the day, stick the photos in they took in the day. Definitely. I love that idea. Definitely. So what we're going to do as well, because I like this little, almost like, buckle that we've got going on here i'm going to cut that off um and we're going to use that almost like a little um closure on it if you like okay so let's grab that off there okay so what i want to do now is i need to connect my pages together so the best way to do this i think is if you get your scoreboard you can if you want to and you've probably got lots more time than I have so what I'm going to do is stick them together by actually scoring just down this edge here okay so we'll score in at half an inch there and that will then fold that way and that becomes our kind of front cover now because we've got our eight by eights here and these are on paper I'm going to do like two or three at a time we just need to have let's just check that's not quite come through. I'll do two at a time Okay, you don't have to score these hard because these will, um, you know, crack and because it's paper. Well, it won't crack, it'll just probably, if you go a bit heavy handed, you might end up tearing it. So just go a little bit less on the pressure than you would if you were using cardstock or adorable scorable. Okay, so let's do that. So we've got all these together. We don't need that anymore. That can go down there out of the way. Let's do, um, okay, let's do, just for the quickest, we'll do a line of glue. Now, if I was doing this, I'd probably do tape um, if I was doing it at home for myself. But for now, we'll just do glue because it'll just be a little bit quicker. And we're just going to glue those together. So just a line down where you've done your, um, your scored bit. And then, there we go. So that one can go on there as well. So we're building up a little booklet of pages. Again, you can save like your, you know, your, your tickets, your boarding tickets, your boarding passes, should I say. You know, you can make your own pretend passport when you get back. A great thing for the little 
wants to do and take with them on holiday. Say, right, we're going on the plane first, so we get to the airport, let's write some things in your journal about what you've seen and what's happened so far and, you know, um, what we bought in the airport. Because you always buy something in the airport, don't you? Even if it's only a thing of... We always get snacks. Sun lotion or you get, like, snacks or you get a magazine to read. Um, You've got to get... I think it's essential, especially when me and Dan are travelling. It's essential to have a beer at the airport. Okay, yeah, of course. Essential. Of course. And then we'll get snacks for the plane. Snacks for the plane, yeah. Crisps, sweets. Because we're on holiday. You're allowed. You are allowed indeed. Absolutely are. Okay, we, we, so... We, sometimes as well, we do have a, quite a collection now. Um, we've got a little, like, travel um, connect for... Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we take that? That's perfect. That's great. Okay, so now we've got some pages. So, what I want to do now is we've got our little, um, what looks like a belt here. So, I was thinking we could actually attach this to almost make it look like it's, it's going round to fasten it. So, what we'll do, I'm going to trim a tiny bit off that section there so that I can tuck that underneath there so we still get the end of the little um the like red bit yes yeah so let's do that so that's going to stick on there so we'll go just up to that section there and that can stick here at the front okay like that that will just tuck under there like that and then what i would do with the back section here i would put either and you can do this because you've got plenty cardstock here. Let's do a little piece here with the um, the cloud section. What we're going to do is just do a little fold there. You can just do this by hand if you want to. Little fold there, and then back the other way. We're going to pop that on with. We'll do some red tape on that. I think just let me know it stays where we put it because this is going to be like a little underneath, uh, like a little closure where we can tuck this underneath. You could do a Velcro dot, it depends what you've got at home. You could do it so it ties with some string or some ribbon. Um, but again, it just means you've got that tiny little, um, almost like a belt effect where you can tuck it under. And what you can do as well, cut it to a point just to make it easier to tuck under. Okay, and we're going to pop this like that bit there, like that. And then that bit there. And you can lift that tiny little bit so that it makes it easy to tuck underneath. Okay, so we know it's now fastened. And then what you can do as well, look on your sheet. You've got lots of extra bits here. So maybe you want to decorate the pages. So you might want to put, um, you know, you might want to put um, happy travels. So you could put that on a page there. Uh, let's get a bit of glue on there like that. Happy travels. And then you can start to decorate your pages with any bits that you've got left like that. So if we chop a bit off there, we can glue this down this side. In fact, let's do this one with the clouds on because the cloud one is quite nice. Let's do that one and that just fits perfect. So that's meant to be on there. So let's just do that. And then you can start to... You can really decorate each page however you want to. You can, you? yeah. You can get really creative. You could even, like all your little bits that you've cut down, put them in a little pack with say some foam pads and some glue. Definitely. And take take it with you. Of course. And yeah, you can have definitely. like just, just those times in your holiday where you just want a little peace and quiet, maybe a, a little a little nap after being by the pool all day. Yeah. And you can say, Do you know what? Go go write in your book. Go and do something in your journal, do some yeah. Crafting in your book. Yeah, I've done that before. I've done it like in um you know, and I've been um, I think I did it when I went over to my nephew's wedding, actually, over in Italy. We went to Sorrento about three years ago, just after I joined Hunky Dory, actually. Um, he got married over there. So we went and we did, like, a, you know, we went up Mount Vesuvius and things like that. So I did write, like, what we'd done on, on that day, you know, and just to make it exciting. Um, and, and just to, you know, make it stick in my mind what we actually did. But again, with things like this... This is great because you can use all your little scrappy bits. You can also use all the bits that are left off your 
um, topper sheet and look at that topper sheet. We've still got. I know it's crazy. You've got loads, loads, on there. loads and the left stock. on there. Definitely, we've still got another sheet card stock which you could put in there as well. Um, but again, it's just another little idea. So what you could do, you could decorate every every page, um, and then because that's the beauty with having the double sided uh, paper as well, you can actually. Um, turn each page over and just stick things straight on. It's not going to be plain white. You've got your little closure there. Um, and then again, you could always put some holes in and, and tie some string or something around it. Put a luggage tag on as well. That'd be quite oh, nice with kids, kids name on or something. But let's hold that up and then you can see it from the front just to give you an idea. Um, Absolutely love that. There's loads of, of things you can be so doing. Cute. Um, and that's something that we wouldn't have probably done if we hadn't had no. that goodie box because yeah. if we'd not had that eight by eight paper pad in there we wouldn't have done Together. that with a made card yeah. so it does sometimes inspire you to to crack on and make some other things uh, depending what's in your box i think that's such a good idea to mix and match your toppers for things that um you wouldn't necessarily think about either like different house projects craft projects with the kids of course yeah um, there's loads of things that you can be doing so thanks sheila because even though we put you on the spot there Three awesome demos. Thank you, loved Natalie. It. Um, loved all of the goodie boxes. I'm just still, You're still amazed buzzing, at all you? of the stuff <laughs> that you get in there. It's crazy. Um, so our TV schedule. Um, Pauline is on at um, 3 p.m. today and again at 7.30 with our beautiful um, butterfly blue collection that Sheila launched yesterday um, evening. It's really, really pretty it's and it's beautiful. selling really well, isn't it? It's, it's going crazy, yeah. It's going so, yeah, so well. It is. Um, so make sure you watch that because um, it's a beautiful collection. We're gonna add our Teddy Loves um, topper deck to our roll of box, which I really want someone to win it. I oh. really do. So hopefully someone will win that this week. Um, and then we're back here on at fr uh, blah, blah, blah. we're back here <laughs> every time, every <laughs> single time. I don't think I've gone one show without messing up yet. <laughs> Honestly, the struggle's real. Um, <laughs> so we will be joining you on Friday at 10 a.m. Um, and we're actually going to be going through that wonderful, beautiful butterfly blue collection near again again see too excited that's been the problem today i've been too excited um but thank you for joining us today we've had a fantastic time i have loved this show this stuff in there is just incredible it's crazy i'm still i might steal one on the way out um but thank you for joining us we will see you on friday um have a lovely rest of your day mm -hmm.